Hello everyone, welcome to another Star Wars World of Public video and this one's going to be a really really short one where I'm just showcasing the new platinum items that we're going to be getting with the Eternal Command Pack and beyond. Now, the Oppressor Alliance Pack is one of the next cartel packs going to be released. I would assume that that's going to be released after uh, Knights of the Eternal Throne hits and that one has, still has Senya's Lightsaber and Senya's Lightsaber Pike in it. Now, after that one, we have the Eternal Command Pack and the Platinum items coming out of the Eternal Command Pack, the Stalwart Leader Command Pack and the ones that follow was not data mined earlier, but now we have two new Platinum Sabers and these Sabers will most likely be the ones that are in those cartel packs. So I'll just quickly throw the images up here so you can see it right off the bat. We have the Unstable Peacemaker's Lightsaber and then I'll quickly throw up the other one, the Unstable Peacemaker's Dual Saber. Now these Platinum weapons so far have been so awesome and I really think they deserve their own separate videos which is why I don't talk about them in um, the other videos where I talk about the, uh, the uh, Cartel Pack in general because I think these are just so awesome they deserve a separate discussion on their own. Uh, let's talk about the Unstable Peacemaker's Lightsaber first because that was probably the one that really caught your attention. Uh, it is going to be an, uh, another unstable saber. Right now we only have one, which is the unstable arbiter saber. A lot of people did not like the hilt on that one. They thought it was too big. There was nothing too special about it. Obviously with this hilt, it looks a little bit smaller and it obviously has that vent coming out from the bottom. That's going to make it really popular. We have not seen any saber close to this yet in the game. I do hope on one hand that they make the... Uh, actual blade a little bit larger because that was one of the criticisms with the unstable arbiter saber the blade was unstable but it was too small it was too thin people didn't like that at all i personally didn't like that that much either so i do hope that they make this one larger but uh, we'll see if the blade actually comes out proper or not now recently i had speculated that this was actually going to look like the unstable vented lightsaber so it's going to have both vents coming out basically be kylo ren's lightsaber from the force awakens now i'm not going to rule that out for the future it might come out at one point in time but not in the near future it seems as though this is what it's going to look like i personally am a lot happier with this design i did not want to see this the kylo ren lightsaber come into play because i know a lot of people put a lot of effort into getting that saber maybe a lot of money as well and so i didn't want to just see a better version of it come out later this one actually I think is a lot nicer. I definitely see this one selling for an insane amount of credits. And what I mean by that is just look at the Senya's lightsaber and Senya's lightsaber pike. On the Harbinger server, the pike has not dropped below 90 million credits. And when it does drop below, it sells fairly quickly. Senya's lightsaber has not dropped below 50 million credits. I'm not sure what's going on with that. I mean, the defined vented lightsaber which is, I think, a million times more popular than the Senya's lightsabers, has dropped to like 68, 65 million. It dropped to like 40 million-ish back when uh, the packs were first released that had them. And so I'm not sure what this trend is. I'm not sure why now Platinum Sabers for some reason are selling for insane amount of credits, but I definitely see this one selling for that much as well. I really, really like this design. This is probably going to be the new main saber I, I use on my Sith. Let me know if you guys will be making the switch as well and trying to get your hands on this one. It's going to be really difficult. As I've said, you can open up numerous hyper crates, not get a single one of these, and they're probably going to sell for an insane price on the GTN. I'll make sure I do some giveaways for this one when it comes out. Um, I'm planning some major ass giveaways for December, and trust me, this will be in there. Even if it costs me 100 mil, 200 mil to buy it off the GTN, I'll buy it and I'll give it away. Uh, we have the next one, Unstable Peacemaker's Dual Saber. Now, unfortunately, they always seem to screw up on the dual sabers. Uh, they can't make them just as nice as the single sabers. Uh, so I'm not sure what's going on here. The blade itself doesn't look unstable, but that must be just the image. Uh, it is called the Unstable's Peacemaker's Dual Saber, so it will have an unstable blade that's probably identical to the Unstable Peacemaker's Lightsaber Blade. And so, um, yeah, that will be unstable. It just doesn't look like that in the image for some reason. Also, where's the vent? I mean, on the Unstable Peacemaker's Lightsaber, we see the vented thing coming out from the bottom. You can't really see that in this image. I would assume something is happening in the middle there. Like, maybe that's a vent connecting both of the sabers together. But uh, I just don't see it yet. So I think that's just the image deceiving us. It's probably going to look a lot nicer in-game. Nonetheless, it's not as big of a fail as the Unstable Vented Dual Saber was. I mean, that was an absolutely epic fail. That was a terrible looking Dual Saber. You can tell by the fact that it's a platinum item that is selling for like 2-3 to three million credits on the Harbinger. So that was an epic fail. I don't think this one's going to fail that hard. And the Unstable Blade tends to attract a lot of people. And one of the reasons why it sells for very high prices, but is also very, very um, desirable. And that's kind of one of the reasons of getting these platinum items, right? To show it off and to show off that you have this really rare, cool thing that works well with your characters. So those are the two new platinum items. I do hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please let me know what you guys think in the comment section. I will be sure to read all the comments and answer them. Hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you in the next one.